dear students in this class i am going to discuss with you about the inflation measurement that how inflation is measured so first of all i will try to discuss with you about the index measurement is in the previous classes i have discussed that price index or index it is a number we develop an index or a number which is used to compare the future prices with the past prices where we can compare that whether there is a change in the prices or not so to calculate the inflation first of all we are going to measure the cpi the consumer price index this is called the consumer price index so before calculating the inflation we have to calculate the cpi that what is the consumer price index to calculate the cpi we need the basket basket is the collection of the goods which consumers are purchasing during a time period a weekly or monthly or yearly whatever you mention but especially we say suppose the monthly uh, items which consumers are buying because consumer price index measures the price changes of consumer items 373 or 375 items included into the cpi basket but for this example purpose we are giving simply mentioning few items here we write the year here we write the purchases Just suppose ten kgs. Here we mention the milk. And the rice. Five liters. And the rice. is 10 kg so r uh, now the these are the items which the person is purchasing usually our basket remains same for longer time periods for different years and uh, we start from 2015 and this is also our suppose base year as we have discussed that to measure the indexes or to measure the inflation or to measure any other factor just like the gdp real gdp as we have discussed in the previous lectures the base year is a selected year we choose to compare the this year's prices with the other years price and uh, price of the potatoes in this year 20 rupees per kg and uh, milk uh, is uh, th- 30 rupees per liter and 40 30 rupees per liter and 40 rupees per kg then 2016 in the 2016 we say 22 rupees per kg the potatoes 33 rupees per liter and 41 22 rupees per kg 33 rupees per liter and uh, 41 rupees per kg then we 
Tuesday, suppose 2017. Twenty seven rupees per kg, thirty three rupees per liter. Uh, 40 rupees per liter, which is suppose 40 rupees per liter and 43 rupees per kg. Just suppose these are the prices of the items during these years. So to calculate the value of the basket, Calculate the value of the basket. We use that 20 rupees the quantity multiplied by price. So we apply this formula in all these boxes. So 20 and 20 multiplied by 10 is the quantity, and 20 is the price. So 200. Here, 5 is the quantity and 30 is the price, so we have 150. And same, 10 is the quantity multiplied by 40 is equal to 400 is the quantity. So we have 2750. The value of the basket during 2015 and which is also the base year and uh, 795 the value of the basket during 2016 and uh, 900 the value of the basket during 2017 we need to apply the same procedure, the quantity multiplied by price and quantities are mentioned here and prices are given. These are the prices and when we multiply the quantity with the price, then when we add up the horizontal line, we have the value of the basket for a particular year. So 750 is the value of the basket during 2015. 795 is the value of the basket, the same items which we are purchasing. Now, from this data, from these values, the values of the basket, we have to calculate the CPI, the Consumer Price Index, the CPI for 2015. Remember that always we have the 100 value for the base year. If this is our base year, so if you do, do not calculate the value, it makes no difference, but for understanding purpose we are calculating this value of the basket. It current year prices divided by value of the basket it base year price into 100 as we know that our current year is 2015 so value of the basket is 2000 uh, 750 divided by The value of the basket is base year prices and 2015 is also our base year, so the same 750 into 100, so we have 100, the value of the index CPI equal to 100 in 2015. Now we are calculating the value of the CPI for 2016. So value, we use the same formula 
and I am using the shortcut uh, format basket value in 2016 which is the current year because we are now in the 2016 suppose we are measuring the CPI value or the CPI index or the consumer price index of 2016 the basket in 2015 which is our base year in 200 so 795 is our value of the CPI 2016 divided by value of the basket at, uh, in 2015 which is 750 into 100 so we have 106 The value of the CPI during 2016 is 106. The value of the CPI during 2017. So the basket value in 2017 divided by basket value of 2015 into 100. So the 700, uh, sorry, 900 divided by 750 into 100. So we have 120, the value of the basket. Oh, sorry, the, the value, uh, the index for the year 2017 is 100. 20. Now we have the data of this CPI indexes. This is the value of the index for the 2015, which is the best year. This one is the 16. Now from these index values, we have to calculate the inflation. So to understand that how inflation is measured from the index values inflation rate and we consider the base year's prices is a zero prices so we are here calculating the prices of 2016 uh, the CPI T, T is for the time period and T for the current year, the year whose inflation rate some we want to measure. Minus CPI, consumer price index T minus 1. It means one year back. We use the values of the CPI of the one year back or the last year's CPI value divided, divided by CPI. T minus 1 into 100. So if we are calculating the inflation rate of 2016, because if you calculate the inflation rate of 2015, you will get the value 0. So that's why. So see, inflation rate, the CPI T, T means 2016. The value of the CPI, the 2016 is 100. 6 minus the value of the CPI T minus 1 means 1 year back is the 15. So the value of the CPI of 2015 is 100 divided by 100 into 100. So we have 6%. We say that prices change from 15 to 16 almost 6% or uh, there is a 6% increase in the prices from 2015 to 2016 and uh, to calculate the inflation rate 
of 2017. We use the same formula, CPI T for the current year, which is our 7, 2017, and CPI T minus 1 means the last year, which is 2016, and divided by CPI T minus 1. So CPI T minus CPI T minus 1 divided by CPI T minus 1 into 100 means consumer price index and this one is for the 2017 and this one is 2016 this one is also 2016 so here we Say suppose the value of the CPI in 2017 is 120. 120 minus the value of the CPI in 2016, which is 106. Divided by 106, which is the 2016 value of the CPI into 100. So the inflation rate for the year is 130. 13.20 is the inflation rate in 2017, it means the prices from 2016 to 2017 increased almost 13%, 13 or over 13%. So prices change over 13%. So this is the way we calculate the inflation, that first we need to calculate the index, whatever index we want to calculate, whether you are calculating the CPI, WPI, PPI or SPI. The procedure will remain same. So to calculate the CPI or index, index is the number which we develop to compare the prices, we have to use this formula that the value of the basket is current year prices. Current year means the year whose inflation index you want to calculate. Divided by the value of the basket, it, it's base year prices. Base year is a selected year. Whatever year you are going to calculate, uh, whatever years you are going to calculate the index, the value here will be written the base year value. So, after calculation of the indexes, we use the same index values to calculate the inflation rate. So, to calculate the inflation rate, this is the formula that inflation rate, CPI means CPI of the current year. If we are supposed calculating the inflation of 2016, and CPI T minus 1 means uh, one year back it means 2015 and CPI T minus 1 means 2016. By using these values we, we are able to calculate the inflation rate that how much prices change. So, uh, once again show you the values. To understand that this is the CPI, consumer price index, and the value of the basket, it current year prices, the value of the basket, it base year prices, and these are the values which we have calculated from the basket, which I have just removed. And this is the procedure to calculate the inflation rate. To calculate the inflation rate, we use the index values. And we use CPIT for the current and CPIT for the time period. And the T, if we are only using CPIT or CPIT 1, means current year. And the CPIT minus 1 means one year back. So this is the formula. And uh, with this formula, we, we are able to calculate the inflation rates. So thank you very much for watching this video.